Okay, welcome um, to the second part in, uh, in the language lecture and very briefly only I would like to talk about language development now and I think you also cover that in the developmental psychology lecture. Okay, let's have a quick look. Um, this, by the way, is not some mean things towards a baby, but that is how one way how to do experiments with small infants who can't talk yet. And what you can, for instance, present them uh, are different sounds. And if a baby recognizes the sound and realizes it's the same sound over and over again, it habituates to the sound and um, is not excited by it anymore. And if it recognizes it as a different sound, then it's like, oh, there's something different. So there's a little bit of excitement or physiological arousal then going on again. And so you can, for instance, test, does the child uh, realize the sound of the mother? Can it distinguish the sound of the mother to a different sound, different phonemes, and different other very basic sounds? And this, uh, uh, this hose here, kind of, it's basically just a sucker at the end, and you provide milk here. So it's just a device to measure the sucking frequency because this physiological arousal, when there's a new stimulus, a new sound, then the rate of sucking increases slightly. It's like an attentional response to a new stimulus. So that's how language can be investigated acoustically in, in very, very young infants. And the acquisition of language basically starts directly after birth where we have where we start out no n with no language at all and around 4 months they can already discriminate different speech sounds so it's it's a quite early and fast uh, development and they start in engaging and bubbling babbling so they practice their system to produce language and with they have this feedback loop, so then when they produce sounds, they hear the sounds, so they learn how, which motor commands to the vocal production system produces which sounds. Then it comes to a pre-verbal communication, where they just use uh, vocalizations and gestures, like, you know, like da, 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 or something like that. And then <clears throat> this transitions into language. So slowly the proper verbal forms, the proper words, take over uh, these older pre-verbal vocalizations and, and then they start to use the right words. Now the whole area of language de uh, development is interesting from another point of view because um, a book called Verbal Behavior by B.F. Skinner, who was one of the strongest proponents of behaviorism, um, is kind of a little bit seen as one of the sparks to, gen to create cognitive psychology as a discipline. So, Skinner wrote a book about how we can acquire a language. And um, this book was published in the late 1950s and was called Verbal Behavior. And he had a purely behaviorist approach to that. So he argued language is solely learned by reinforcement. So we produce something, the child produces something, and then, depending on the feedback, do the other communication partners uh, reinforce that and say, oh yeah, you said a nice word, or reinforce by means of that they understood the meaning, the message, and responded to that in the way the child liked it. Um, and so that this is then reinforced and the child uses the word and the infant uses this a little bit more. However, um, there has been quite a bit of 
criticism with that book. And one of the things is, whoever has children on their own, um, children don't really care about feedback. And um, so they don't improve their language because somebody told them it was wrong the way you did it. And there are quite a few other criticisms. So uh, Noam Chomsky wrote a criticism, like a commentary, uh, which criticized Skinner's book in 1959, so two years later. And basically he took the book apart, he tore it apart. And his argument was that language is too complex to be learned solely by reinforcement. And so he basically said behaviorism is not sufficient to explain the acquisition of language. And this book review was also um, was basically something which supported the development of cognitive psychology to say no it's behaviorism can't explain anything everything we have to find a different approach for some research questions at least and language and language acquisition is one of them and another thing where another argument he used is um, that the role models so the parents, the siblings, friends, and so they often use actually incorrect language, so not the grammatically perfect language, and so that children and infants can't learn proper language from that. He called that the poverty of the stimulus. And um, his suggestion was, well, children actually don't need to learn grammar. Instead, they are born with knowledge of a universal grammar so that every child has some basic capacities or knowledge of a grammar around the world. So this is Noam Chomsky in 2013 and um, he, Chomsky had a very strong influence on linguistics and um, this book was very relevant and his review of the book was very relevant, but some of the assumptions he made were incorrect. I mean, this was long ago, so there's not, not a problem in that or anything like that. And just as an example, the argument of the poverty of the stimulus. And the, the point is that uh, infants and children do indeed hear, hear incorrect language, but when they interact with different people, everyone has a different version of incorrect language and uses other things correctly. So that, you know, in a statistical sense, there's enough information in this language signal from other people to extract and learn the linguistic rules. So that there's no real need for an inborn universal grammar and so this is something which is still debated. That's already all I wanted to uh, talk about in the context of the development and learning of language and you will I think hear about this in other modules in, in more depth but I found this discussion between Skinner and Chomsky is, is a relevant one in more in the context of history of the cognitive of cognitive psychology as usual questions please into the discussion forum thanks a lot for listening